most awkward moment. And it's going live. <laughs> uh, it's on now. Yeah. I'm kind of waiting for everybody to get on here, though. Yeah. But there's somebody. You can't see them. How's everybody? Hello. <laughs> I told Billy this is the most awkward moment of going live right here, waiting for everybody to get on. <laughs> We're back at it again. Um, we we wanted to go live again. I'm over here at Brother Billy's house right now and everything, and uh, uh, kind of make an announcement on, on something uh, we've got going on. Um, as we've been going through all this um, this pandemic and everything, been been stuck at home for quite a while and everything. Uh, we've been going Facebook, and um, I've recently got into doing a lot of, of uh, video editing and things like that, and uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, and, you know, I'm doing a lot of searching out, praying, and, uh, uh, you know, what, of course, been preaching on Facebook quite a lot. And uh, as we do that, um, the Lord laid something on our heart to begin to do, and um, we were kind of here, wanted to get on here and announce to everybody about it. Um, here a little while back, I got a thought on my heart and my mind, and, uh, uh, you, know, you know, as we get into this Facebook age, uh, you know, it's a good thing. Uh, you know, it's helped every one of the churches. I, you know, I, I don't know if I know of a church right now. Not many out there that haven't used Facebook in some way uh, uh, to get the message across to people that were out uh, stuck in their homes and things like that. Uh, you know what? And as doing so and getting into all this uh, uh, this technology and everything, uh, you know, the Lord laid something on my heart about um, how uh, these new ways we're doing things and everything is is really good. Uh, yeah. and, you know, and, and not not throwing anything at this when I when I make this statement. Uh, but you know the Bible tells us to seek out the old paths there in life the good way. Right, amen. And uh, you know, and as, as we do this, and I'm not saying I, I, I'm, I'm all for all for using this right now, and um, and and that's where I want to get to on this is that the old path, uh, the Bible lays that out. You know, God has laid that out from the very beginning. Amen. And as we get it, get into to maybe uh, telling you what what this post is about, uh, you know, uh, it's laid been laid upon my heart. Uh, to maybe go around to some of the old uh, old preachers, uh, the old time country preachers that are around here right now, and maybe get some interviews on them and uh, and kind of share with the with the church world and with all the world um, uh, maybe some thoughts and what what it's like inside the the, the mind and uh, and maybe how it was back in the old days that we so long for. We I hear people say that all the time how it was back whenever uh, uh, they were younger and uh, uh, these men were there and uh, you know and I, and I and I wanted to kind of. Uh, capture that in the video and to begin to uh, share that with the world. And so, uh, you know, it kind of inspired me to do that. And I've already sit, uh, began to sit down with some of the men and uh, uh, begin to uh, take those interviews. And then uh, uh, we're going to be editing them and putting them out. So that's why we're kind of on here to announce uh, that through that, uh, through that little um, uh, documentary, I guess, that we was going to try to set up with that, uh, it came another thought to our mind and our heart. And uh, I believe the Lord's in it and uh, been praying about it. And I've asked mm -hmm. Brother Billy to come on board with us on mm -hmm. that. Um, we, we've decided to start up a YouTube channel, uh, you know, and, and maybe uh, do a live uh, talk show, uh, I guess is what you'd call it, um, uh, with myself and Brother Billy. Uh, every week at five o'clock, we're going to be we're going to be going on there, and uh, uh, this is going to be to talk about uh, Christian life as it is, and uh, uh, you know, what well, we might share some testimonies and uh, uh, maybe some songs and uh, and a little bit of word, and uh, maybe just talk about things that are going on in life and uh, how how it can better be. Uh, uh, taken care of in a, in a Christian aspect, and uh, uh, you know that's kind of what the Lord's laid. And, and by doing so, we're going to be featuring uh, those videos that we where we've interviewed those uh, old men of God, and uh, you know what, and try to show the world uh, uh, what it means to be a, an old servant. And uh, uh, you know what, we, we we're never going to outgrow that. Uh, it don't matter how far mm -hmm. technology gets. It don't matter uh, how, how how different things are going to be, and they are going to be different. Uh, you know, we're going we're planning on going back in the next couple of weeks. About everybody will be then. And uh, as we do that, uh, you know what? Well, we're never going to outgrow the old path because uh, right. uh, that's where the good way is. That's the way we'll serve the Lord. And uh, and you know what? Well, this is just going to be our little part in doing so. And I I, I want to invite everybody that, that that begins to watch this video. Uh, we have a link at the bottom of the page uh, right there, and it, it is a link to that YouTube uh, uh, channel. And if you would go and subscribe to that, and whenever you subscribe to it, uh, uh, it'll give you an update whenever we uh, go go on this and. Uh, uh, just watch it uh, when you can or whatever. You can go live with us. Uh, that's fine. It'll begin at, at 5 o'clock. But uh, uh, we just want to encourage everybody because I think it'll be a good help to everyone. Uh, uh, you know what? Ain't, ain't nothing like a good devotional, good testimonies. Right. Uh, uh, you know what? Midweek, uh, 
Uh, you know what? Those midweek services are always a good pick me up in between Sunday, and uh, uh, you know what? So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first one to tell you that I I think that we need to realize right now that uh, uh, as times have changed, it's time that we uh, uh, pick up and take it full advantage of it. God is the maker of opportunity, and uh, mm-hmm. and when He lays something on your heart, you got to do it. So uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know that's what He's done for me, and uh, and I want to share it with the world. Uh, you know what? There's uh, I, as I've been doing this. Uh, there's been a lot of men that I've thought about that have already gone on to be with the Lord, and I I wish that I had something to right. uh, to, to to show the world of what they've done. Uh, you know what Brother Billy talked about, uh, 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 Brother Tim Coleman about him uh, going far beyond, b- before his time. So we thought, but the Lord seen it fit uh, to take him out then, and uh, uh, you know what? But as that was done, I had a thought coming to me uh, uh, whenever when all this happened, and uh, uh, you know what? It, it, whenever he takes someone like that out that's on fire for the Lord, that uh, tells the truth when he's up there, lives the same way each and every day. Uh, God intends on somebody to step up and take and and take hold of that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know what? He, he doesn't just take them out and and end it. Uh, you know what? He he is the next man up, and I, mm-hmm. uh, you know. So that's what I, I think we need to realize right now is that uh, it's time that we begin to stand up as a church and carry that forward. And I, it, we, you know what? Maybe we can't hear that. And I I told Brother Billy about this a long time ago. Brother Tim held a revival that uh, that year. Uh, that he passed on, and uh, it was just a couple months before out at Faith, and uh, that Friday night, he laid the plan of salvation out as good as I could ever hear, heard a man ever do it. Uh, you know what, and I, I like to say, Brother Tim was a good man of God, and he wouldn't take any credit. All glory be to God for it, but uh, uh, you know what, and, and that night, I forgot to hit the record button on the CD, and uh, you know what, and we, well, the ones that were there heard it, and the ones that wasn't, didn't. Uh, but these videos right here, I believe, will be something that we can hold on to, uh, we can share with our children and our grandchildren, and uh, uh, you know what? And so there's going to be messages given in that, and uh, things we can hold on to. Yeah. Uh, so you know what? That's just what we want to announce to you. I don't know, if Brother yeah. Billy's got anything to say. Yeah, I just want to say that you know we've uh, prayed about this, and uh, and you know, and uh, Lord has already been dealing with us about doing talking to some of the older ministers during uh, doing some interviews during this time. And when Brother Justin talked and approached us about it, I'd already even actually talked to uh, to a couple, you know, about doing something like this, and uh, we were just. Uh, uh, on, on board and then it, it just uh, I, I don't know we always work together good as a, a team it seems like you know when we've had several revivals we're all good close friends and we've always seemed to work good together and when this opportunity come up I, uh, I, I was really looking for something to, to do anyway mm-hmm. about that and uh, uh, we went and uh, I, I want to encourage you you know if you have any uh, of pictures like some, some of the older ministers and some of the older uh, church and stuff that you'd like to send to us and everything, you know, share with us and everything. We would, uh, you know, we'd appreciate anything like that that we might be able to incorporate some of these videos and stuff. And uh, uh, we went to uh, a couple of the churches this week and and, and, uh, and took took a little bit of video and stuff. I I did uh, Friday and everything, just kind of in preparation for this. But I'm looking forward to the opportunity because uh, uh, when you see someone who's been in the way for a long time and everything, as we uh, thought about it tonight in our message, you know, uh, that sets that example uh, for the younger generation to follow, you know, and, and already, you know, in, in my lifetime, the, the ministers that, have, that, that meant so much to me that have already left this walks of life, uh, the, the Tommy Oates Falls and the Jerry Hollingsworth and the, the Larry Hollingsworth that, that have done, uh, uh, done left this walks of life and everything, you know, I know what they meant to me personally, and it, it's nice to even hear mm-hmm. about uh, the road that some of these uh, some of these older ministers have traveled, and the people who influenced them on the way up and everything. And uh, I think it's a it's a great way to, uh, to it's it's great testimony. You know, uh, we always said we have the word of God there to to live by and everything, but we always have that 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 gift inside of us that is ours that God's give us only, and that's our testimony. You know, and anything you know. Uh, that you can tell about to glorify the Lord. And uh, mm-hmm. as Brother Justin said, when you get back to those old paths, you know, uh, I, I recall, uh, you know, people talking about the revivals of the days past when people would go out in the woods uh, or or be on the altar an hour before service started, be praying for the upcoming revival and everything. In this day and time, you don't see a lot of that. Um, and and just, in, just in going back and, and taking some... Uh, just the video that we took the other day, he went back to a church that we held a revival in, probably the strongest re- revival that I remember being in since I've been in church. And uh, uh, we went there to, to, to the spot, and I can point out the spot where we had prayer circle before the uh, before the service, and uh, and, and service broke out there outside the mm-hmm. house. You know, it, it, everybody was there, and it was uh, multi uh, denominations coming together. Mm-hmm. 
and one mind and one accord. You know, they, they were there for one reason, and that was to serve the Lord. That was one reason to, to uh, uh, have, you know, have a revival. And, uh, you know, the, some of the experiences that, that we'll hear these older ministers talk about as, as a pastor, uh, as things they've gone through as pastors, uh, things, the, the revivals they've seen and stuff, will be stuff that, you know, that, that me, Brother Dustin, and others can feed off of and, and look to, uh, for example, of, of ways to handle things. But uh, I believe, you know, that this is going to be a great thing. I, I believe it's, uh, I, I'm excited about uh, getting opportunity to talk to some of these men, uh, good men of God, and uh, and, and just to uh, uh, kind of pick their brain a little bit and see the things they've gone right. through and uh, and get to hear them uh, test. You know, I can tell Brother Justin's testimony, but he can tell mine, but not with the same fire that, that, that we right. can tell each other's. And, you know, and it's a, it's nice to hear these stories, but coming from the actual people who've been through it and lived through it and everything, I think it's going to be, I think it'll be beneficial to us. I think it's something, I believe the Lord's in it. If I didn't believe the Lord's in it, I'd say, no, I don't really want to do that. I believe it's something that he's going to get glory for. In this day and time that we're in right now, and what we're facing is, uh, as a church, as God's church, uh, these, uh, having to do these Facebook live services and everything, uh, you know, you, uh, well, you have to, one of two choices. You can either uh, think outside the box and get creative and get God's word out, or you can sit at home and say, well, I'm just not comfortable doing that or anything That's else. Right. We was already talking about the comfort level we got uh, being in front of the camera. It's not something that just comes That's natural, right. but it's something that we're getting more and more used to now right. because uh, we've had to do so much of it today. Yeah. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I, I never think that, that it takes the place of church because uh, right. it says for second not the symbol of the brethren. You know, we need to be inside of God's house today, but what a good way to, to mm -hmm. share with, uh, you know, uh, share with, the, uh, you know, with everyone here about these, these, these great men of God and their experiences. And, uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to what's coming ahead. Y'all pray for us, you know, and, uh, and, you know, like we said, you know, if you have any pictures or anything you'd like to, to send in to us or anything, you know, you, you, you can find a way to uh, send them to us on Facebook or on Messenger or anything. And, yeah. And we'll we'll, we'll uh, do our best, you know, to, uh, to to give you a good to give you a good show every every week, and mm -hmm. that we can. And uh, and brother Justin's re he's gotten really good on these uh, editing these videos and everything. And I'm really excited about seeing what God can do with this thing here. I believe it's going to be a blessing to many people. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been you know uh, we've been concentrating to doing our ministry on 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 Thursday night, and I believe we're going to turn our our. Uh, attention uh, from, from that service to, to this, you know, mm -hmm. to dedicate our for this. This is what we have been asking the Lord for some time now, for some opportunity to do this. And so I believe we're going to, uh, you know, proceed on and and and, and, and do this uh, YouTube channel. Like Brother Justin said, click that link down there at the bottom, subscribe to it. And uh, we'll do our best to, to you know, to uh, get you some good interviews, some good men of God. And, uh, and I believe you'll be, I believe you'll be pleased with it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that, like I said, the, the, the documentary uh, uh, portion of it of the old ministers and stuff like that—that that, that's just that's going to last a little while and everything. And that, but that, that's not going to be all it's about. I'm I'm, I'm looking into uh, many different ways to use this, right. and uh, and uh, it, it's going to be a, a full on show. I think I guess what you'd call it. I I I, I, I uh, kind of resent using that a little bit, but at the same time, is it we need to really discuss with each other and uh, share with one another. Right what we're going through. And I, I think this is a good opportunity for that, but uh, uh, we'll look into the old past, uh, maybe share some testimonies, get into that and everything. And we hope that each and every one of y'all will get on here with us and uh, uh, and begin to do it. So like I said, the link's on the bottom, share it. Uh, please share this post uh, so we can get the yes. word out. It'll be on our church pages as well and we'll get them on there. Um, and then every week when we do the show, I, I'll, I'll put a link on the pages and uh, so you can get to them from there as well. Uh, let's just help, help get the word out on this, and I, I believe that many people are going to be blessed by it. Uh, not in glory for ourselves, all glory be to God for Amen. it. And uh, uh, you know what? But it, this is just a little something that we're going to try to do uh, uh, to, to do our best to help in the furtherance of the gospel. Uh, you know, and I and I, I want something around that my children are going to be able to hold on to. Amen. And uh, uh, you know what? And, and and when they look back and say good testimony, you know, Peter uh, he t he told over in books that he wrote. Uh, you know, one of some of my favorite scripture. Uh, 
Uh, you know, not word for word what he said, but pretty much what he said was that when I, uh, far beyond after I put off this tabernacle, that I put you in remembrance of these things. And uh, uh, he's talking about a testimony, uh, mm -hmm. a testimony that he'd leave behind. Uh, you know what, Peter was also good at stirring people up. We want to get you stirred up. Right. Uh, you know what, I believe that's what God desires to do. Uh, right. It's time that we do get stirred up and get about God's business. And uh, uh, you know what, I don't think it'll be too much longer. And uh, you know what, I know you've heard that your whole life. Uh, you know what, and that's what, what we're trying to point to, out. The fact is, is that the things you've been hearing from them old preachers all your life, uh, you know what, is preparing you up for the time coming when the Lord right. will come back. And uh, you know what, I want, I, I want to make sure that we're doing uh, what we can to, to get that out. So y'all join in with us. Uh, tap that link, share this right here, and uh, yes. and we'll see you Wednesday night with a with a with a special portion of God's word. Amen. God bless you. God we love you. you.